Good morning, everybody. It's a, it's a cold and a windy day here in Burton. Um, got a quick little job that I'm gonna show you today. Uh, it's one of the other services that I offer, which is window cleaning. Um, a customer rang up uh, for a end of tenancy clean as they're moving out. Um, don't tend to sort of get these very often, but you can charge a little bit more than you normally would for a regular window clean. As it's a one-off, you won't be doing this house again. And uh, you need to get it spick and span for the, uh, for the customer. Um, so I'll be showing you sort of a what tends to be sort of a dying out art now, which is traditional window cleaning. Not many people are offering this anymore, but um, I find it's really important to sort of learn both if you can. That's um, pure water window cleaning and traditional. Um, so some jobs, especially first cleans, are tended to be better using a traditional method. Um, you get a bit more of a thorough clean the first time and then maintenance cleans are better with a water fed pole in my opinion. Um, so I'll be taking you through the gear. It's very simple, very easy to do. If you've never cleaned the window before, I'll, uh, I'll show you exactly how to do it. And you'll pick it up very so quickly. As far as gear, uh, it's as simple as this. Squeegee. And a brush. And that's it, I'm using a Ergotech Ninja with a razor red rubber on it. Um, this is my favorite setup that I've used so far. I've been cleaning windows now for about six or seven years. Um, and by far, I'm in love with this. This is the best tool that I've got for it. Um, bucket on a belt, just a Ninja Ergotech one. Um, yep, yeah, simple as a brush. Something as simple as this, obviously, people can use a lot more uh, crazy things to get in the gaps and stuff, but literally a dish brush is completely fine. You don't need anything else other than that. Um, bit of solution, nothing crazy. Microfiber cloth for use on the glass, and just a towel for use on the frames. And obviously, ladders. Sorry, it's a bit louder. Ladders to get up to the top. Um, as you can see, these windows are pretty bad. They're absolutely covered in spider webs. Um, all over the place. I don't know if you can see that, the sun's pretty bright. But yeah, they're in a bit of a state. So uh, I'll uh, take you through on how to get a house like this coming up lovely. It's just a little tip, um, sometimes with first cleans, if they haven't been done for months, even years in some cases, um, you will have to go over the window twice, maybe even three times, um, some of them, but it's always handy to have um, a scraper. This is just a standard one from Unger, it just fits onto my um, to my belt. Um, so when it's covered in spider webs and all sorts of, you know what, um, yeah, just give, give it a quick light going over this, be really careful not to actually scratch it. Yeah, be careful, go over it twice, go over it with this if you need to and then just squeeze it off and it should be pretty much perfect.
Right, I just thought I'd bring you back there. The uh, back's all finished, all nice and clean. There's a few stains. I mean, a lot of these windows are um, pretty old, so there's gonna be, especially on sort of single pane windows like this, you'll find this a lot, um, the more houses you do. These sort of extensions like this are very old. The windows are usually in quite bad shape. Um, paint's all flaking. It's, you know, you can't really get in and, you know, if you're scrubbing too hard, you're gonna be taking the paint away. So you just do your best, make it look as nice as possible. Um, I realized I actually forgot to show you the, the technique of cleaning a window. So you probably saw from the time lapses, but soap it up. I sort of go corner to corner with the squeegee at an angle, really, if you can. And then you go across to that corner, down to that corner, up, down to that corner, and then finish it off. And that pretty much, you know, you don't really need to detail, especially if you're using like a Ninja or any, um, where are we? Anything with the clips on the end that sort of keep the rubber in, the detailing that you need to do um, to get the soap off the edge is very minimal, which is why um, I no longer use um, scrims i just use a microfiber now um, it's a lot quicker saves washing and you know and all of that um i just use these these are from wilco so this is a blue cloth from wilco i use these all the time i don't think i've used a scrim now for years um you know since sort of upgrading my tools um because the detailing i mean i wouldn't do it but you could basically leave that i mean look you can't really see anything there's a minimal amount of water on it um but it's just a case of quickly wiping it And again, corner to corner, easy as that. And that's, you know, it's a perfect window. There's nothing wrong with it. So yeah, there you go. I'm gonna uh, head around the front now and uh, you can see me doing that. Folks, that's, uh, that's all done. Didn't take too long at all. Uh, probably about an hour. Um, it would have been a lot quicker if I wasn't mucking around with the camera and stuff anyway. 
um, yeah, always allow, um, you know, like a lot longer for, for the new cleans because you never really know how long they're going to take. There's some I've, I've quoted that will, I thought, oh, that'll only take me half an hour. But I've turned up and it's been, you know, two hours to get it all done because there's been paint on every window and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, allow more time for it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, hopefully this video sort of helped at least someone out. Um, so I know when I first started, I didn't really know the best technique to clean a window and um, especially I had a lot of trouble with the new cleans. Um, they were taking like three, four times as long as a normal clean would take. Um, so I'd have plenty of work booked in and I'd never be able to get around to it all because um, it was taking me so long to get them done. Um, but once you get a rhythm going, you've done a few, you sort of pick it up and uh, yeah, it's not too bad to do. So they're quite easy once you get used to it, um, but it is a lot harder than normal. So charge more for a first clean charge you know double what you'd normally charge for end of tenancy cleans and things like that because you're only gonna be doing the house once anyway so make the most out of it all right thanks for watching see you later